hi everyone in this video we will cover how to execute delete request and then we will also see how to use the tags in robot framework so that we can execute some specific tests out of many tests so first we will go to our one website so here we have delete request so we'll try to execute this so don't get confused with the word like post this is just the endpoint now we'll try to execute this so we'll copy this url then hint here in our robot framework we'll try to modify our base url so this is our base url now so we'll replace that here and now our base url is this now we will try to execute delete request so delete request demo then in the first two calls we have tags as demo now we have executed these two calls for another base url now we have changed the url and we just want to execute this delete request demo so for that we will modify this tag name as demo1 now here we don't need body so we will remove this and our endpoint is this so this is our endpoint now then instead of put we will use delete we will have our status code as 200 so now we will try to execute this delete request so we have our base url here then our endpoint now we'll try to execute this code okay so now we have this demo one as a tag so out of three three tests we just want to execute delete request like we have post call then we have put call and delete request for the first two we are having tag name as demo and for the last one we are having tag name as demo one so for, to execute this only we will write in terminal or robot include tag name that is demo one and then our file name so this API test and sanity what it will do it will search for this tag so we have only one test case with this tag so it will execute the delete request in this case as you can see it has logged the status code as 200 and it is passed similarly we can check it in the report as well so in this way we can execute the delete call and if you want to execute only the first two cases like uh, we don't want to execute the demo one and we want to execute the two other test cases so what we will do in case we will again modify the base url because first two test cases are using different uh, url so let me undo the changes we are having this as our base url here so suppose we don't want to execute the demo <coughs> one we are having one one more test case here as a demo one Okay. and now we want to execute only the tax or the test cases with the demo so we have seen the execution for include now we will see for the exclude so in this case instead of include we will execute <coughs> with exclude 
so now it will execute the test case which does not contain the tag name as demo1 so now you can see it has executed only the two test cases like post and put but not the delete as it is having different tag name and we don't want to execute the test cases with the tag name having demo1 so in this case we can also use include and exclude tag to execute only the specific test cases in our robot file 